and welcome back to Unnecessary Inventions. So every now and then I post on my Instagram stories to get a little bit of inspiration from you guys on what is my next unnecessary invention that I should build. And let's just say they are not always very good ideas. So earlier this week, I posted this over onto Instagram to get some of your best ideas. And let's go through the bad ones. There were a whole lot of them that came in. And usually the bad ideas fall into a few different categories. The first one would be something that I've already made, which means you need to do your homework and review all of the inventions that I've already created. The next one would be something that basically already exists, whether you're just using it a different way or for some reason it's actually available somewhere online. And the third one would be that it's simply just a bad idea, not well thought out, and I'm never gonna make it. So with that being said, let's dive into some of your ideas. So the very first one falls into the categories I mentioned, a battery powered phone charger. Doesn't pretty much everyone at this point have some sort of power bank to charge their phone when they're on the go? That's a battery that charges your phone. It already exists. A razor that shaves your face and your chin. This one kind of confuses me because I can't tell what he means by it. Does he use two different razors to shave his face and then shave his chin? Or is he using, I don't know. Does he want one giant razor that shaves basically everything all at once? I don't get what he means, your face and your chin. Razors already do that. Socks that dry themselves when wet. This one also confuses me. Don't socks already dry themselves when they're wet? If you get your socks wet, they aren't perpetually wet for the rest of their sock career. If you put them on a clothesline, they're gonna dry. Sure, you could put a sock into a dryer and that would be a machine that is drying your sock. But if you just leave your sock out, your sock is going to dry itself already. An ice cream scoop that warms itself. That definitely already exists. And I'm pretty sure I've used one. A spoon with a holder for your phone. I just saw a video, I can't remember where, and I'll find it when I'm editing, but a video of a company that made this, but I don't know if it was something that was fake or it was something that you could actually purchase. Either way, someone beat me to it. Hangers for your socks. Luckily, I created the sock locker. And in that, you get itty bitty little sock hangers for each individual sock. So, check that one off the list. Something that keeps my armpits not sweats. Um, <laughs> that just sounds like a problem you should Maybe keep to yourself, I'm not tackling that one. A single purpose device notifying when a new unnecessary invention is released. Luckily, that exists. Go smash the subscribe button and next to it there's a bell. And by hitting that bell, you'll be able to be notified every single time that there's a brand new unnecessary invention video. And I'm sure Instagram has some sort of notification system for that too. And whatever it is, sign up for it. Shoes that make your feet look bigger. So I will create this invention by purchasing a pair of shoes that is one size bigger than the pair of shoes that I'm currently wearing. And that way my shoes will look bigger than they actually are. And unfortunately, that's not an invention. That's just buying another pair of shoes. Sandals with grass on the soles for people who like being barefoot. I know that this one definitely does already exist. I've seen it online. I feel like I saw it in a vending machine somewhere, but I created the incognito kicks and those are shoes with no soles so that you can trick people into thinking that you're wearing shoes, but really you're feeling that wonderful nature right on your feet. Suspenders that attach to your socks to prevent them from falling off in your shoes. Now I know that that one definitely already exists because I have used it before. Unfortunately, that's gonna be a no. An automatic fork. This one, I don't know where it's going. What's automatic about it? Is the fork stabbing the food automatically? Is it coming up to your mouth automatically? Is it eating the food for you automatically? I don't know what is automatic about this fork. Maybe it could be a good idea, but it's about one tenth of a full thought. So let me know when you think of what the rest of this invention is. A space limiter for public transportation when you don't want to be touched. I made the personal spaceinator. So now nobody will be getting into your personal space. I've got this invention on lock. 
An umbrella who doesn't retain water, water fall through the umbrella. See, my inventions are not called useless inventions. They are called unnecessary invention. And that is a useless invention because what is the point of carrying an umbrella if all the water is just gonna fall through? You have to have some sort of use to it. Just because it's unnecessary does not mean that you can have some sort of use to it. That one is going in the trash. Automatic bathroom door at public bathrooms so you don't have to touch the handle. That I also have already created and that is called the damn that bathroom hand, damn that handle's gross, I ain't touching it. And you can walk in and whip open the door and keep your hands germ-free from those disgusting bathroom handles. And if you watched my last video where I critiqued your invention ideas, this is my biggest pet peeve. A weight for a paperweight. I can't stand when people take one thing and then they double it and somehow it's something new. A paperweight for a paperweight. If you need a paperweight for your paperweight, just put another paperweight on top of it. I'm not, I'm not gonna make something twice. I can buy two of the same thing, but I can't make it twice. We are going on to, ooh, I like this next one because I like that you guys are coming to this realization. We are not geniuses like you. You know, it can be just kind of difficult. And that's why I have to take things into my own hands sometimes. Being the evil genius behind unnecessary inventions. I gotta pump these things out because I can't always rely on you guys. And we have ourselves another double invention, a light switch switch. A switch that turns on the light switch. I'm gonna go ahead and give that one an absolutely no. The next one we have is a scab peeler. I don't get this one. Don't people just use your teeth to do it? Whatever. Suits for wieners. Brianna, I don't know if she means like a hot dog wiener or like a wiener wiener. And if she means like a wiener wiener, then I think she's just trying to slide into my DMs to get a picture of my wiener in the suit. But if it's for hot dogs, it's kind of cute. And the next one says glasses with windshield wipers. I got you covered. And Gina has gifted us with a belly button window, a little window so you can see your cutie, but protect it from lint. I have never called my belly button a cutie. I'm gonna have to say that probably not a lot of people wanna see your belly button. It could be cute to see your cutie, but that is gonna have to be one that I pass on as well. What if you have an Audi belly button? What if you have an any belly button? I feel like that's gonna change the invention. And I do a one size fits all. This one I do get a lot. Reverse headphones that play music out to the public, but plug, butt plug, the wearer's ears. Um, I don't really get this one. It's basically just putting a speaker on my head. I just don't think I fully understand why so many people send me this one. It's basically like just putting two Bluetooth speakers on your head. I got nothing. I got nothing else to say about that one. A Tinder swiper, so you automatically swipe right. I definitely remember this one being made a few years ago when Tinder was first coming out. I'll have to find the video of it. Basically, it was a finger that just swiped right and right and right. But the one issue you might run into is you could swipe right all day. And if people aren't swiping right back on you, then what's the point? Ever get tired of getting your phone out of your pocket to check the time? A wrist phone holder would fix that. Everybody, I would like to introduce you to the wrist phone, the Apple Watch. I mean, I could just create some large holder for my phone, but it essentially already exists right here. A candle lighter. One sec. We've got ourselves a candle and we have ourselves a box of matches. And I present to you a candle lighter. Invention solved. Tying laces is damn time consuming. Amen to that. Therefore, have little holders clipped onto the shoe. That's actually kind of a good idea. Maybe if we had like a strap that went over the shoe and then on the strap we could put some Velcro and that way it would basically stay where it's supposed to and then we could have Velcro shoes. Velcro shoes. I like this next one because he sort of had a self-realization halfway giving his idea and then realizing it was something that already exists. I thoroughly thought about self-washing plates till I realized that dishwashers exist. Billy Brown, I give you a round of applause for figuring that one out all by yourself. I am, I'm, I'm proud of you. 
I really, really am. So I think that is going to be all of the inventions that I review for today. If you have a amazing 10 out of 10 invention idea, go ahead and put it in the comments. And then when you're down there, as I mentioned before, go hit the subscribe button, go hit the bell, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you at my next unnecessary invention. See ya.